Guess what we're doing today? So today is going to be our puppy haul video. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of the stuff that we bought for Miss Kira. Not only for her to play with, but some of the things that are essential to have when you have a little tiny puppy. And we are going to do Kira's color reveal. So if you guys want and you want to put a guess down in the comments below, what color do you think Kira is going to be? I know a lot of you guys have already guessed pink because she has a pink bed. So we get to find out if you are correct. What color do you think this pretty girl is going to be? Huh? What color is all your stuff going to be? It's like, I don't know, but I got the cutest brown eyes ever. All right, there you go. You want to play there? All right, no, you, there's a box right off screen here. So she's definitely going to try to get into that during the whole video. You want to do this one first? <laughs> so I will put some Amazon affiliate links to a lot of these items down in the video description below if you guys are interested. And hey, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell, and turn on all notifications so you can see even more videos of Kira and the other dogs. So this is one of the first toys that I got her. This is one of the Go Dog Go with Chew Guard protection. I have gotten one of these for pretty much all of our dogs as puppies. They uh, have this stuff that you can't chew through, which is kind of nice, and they... Make that nice honk noise. But that's not what you want to see. You want to see her color. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? We have her letter that's going to hang on the wall. What color is she going to be? Those of you that guessed pink, guessed correct. Um, I know that most of you know pink is not my favorite color, but it is the color we have picked for Miss Kira. And I should just have the camera here so you guys can see her pulling all the stuff out of the box. You want that next? So the next thing we got for her is a puppy Kong. And I know you guys know that Kongs are one of my favorite things to use with my dogs. I do a lot of Kong treat recipes. These are nice because it gives them something to work on with mental stimulation when you fill them up with stuff. I know you want this more than you want this. Cardboard or toy? Toy, okay, good job, good job. Um, and the difference between a puppy Kong and a regular Kong is they are just a little bit softer for their little baby teeth. Okay, so now that she stopped pulling stuff out of there for a second, this is Kira's collar. So this is a lupine collar, I believe. I don't remember the name of the design. I think it's puppy love, but it might not be. And we got her a puppy collar, and then we got her a collar for when she gets a little bit older. And of course she will be getting a harness when she gets a little bit older as well. I have a little pink harness that's not actually in my box, but um, that we're using for now. This is Kira's leash. So this I got from Tough Barker, which is different from where I get the other climbing rope leashes. I use these, I, the other dogs all have climbing rope leashes that I got from mydogscool.com. But I really like these because the metal ends that clamp these ropes together is covered in rubber. So I may go ahead and order colors from this site for all the dogs eventually, but the colors I wanted were out of stock. So anyway, that is Kira's leash. Right now I only have a four foot leash for her. I have a spare six foot leash. As she gets a little bit older, I'll get her her own six foot leash. But I like these because right now it can keep her a little bit closer to me. You guys saw this in the puppy video, her pink slow feed bowl. And yes, this, the things that are in here, this is a slow feed bowl. She is a fast eater, a lot like Memphis was when she was a puppy. So this kind of just helps slow her down. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know, these are my favorite types of bowls that for dogs that like to eat fast. This is dishwasher safe. And I bought two of them, one for the camper as well. I put some peanut butter in the Kong for her to hopefully get her to stay here because she really wants to eat this box I have over here. Can we keep going through the box now? All right, you stay there. I'm gonna keep doing this. One of the next thing we got is one of these Kong koozies. It's just a little soft toy. It's a little pink elephant. Um, Oakley had one of these, a bigger pink elephant, and she really liked it. I'm, I'm a big fan of Kong toys, so we got her one of those. Jamie picked this out for her because he thought it was so cute. And our dogs, we always talk about squirrel friend and chipmunk friend in the backyard. So it is a little, I believe this one is a little chipmunk squirrel. It's a little critter that would normally be out in the yard, and it has a squeaky in it. Is it? She's like, I don't care. There's peanut butter in this toy. Forget the squeakies. This is a little puppy ring chew toy. These are kind of nice because she is going to be teething. So as with all toys and puppies, you guys, I just want to throw this out there real quick. You always want to make sure that you're around when they're chewing on things because if they start to chew certain things off, you don't want them to swallow them, which is something puppies can do. What do you think? Is that cute? But anyway, it's like a little teething ring. It's kind of rubbery just to 
help her gums and her teeth as she starts teething. The Kongs are good for that as well. You guys already saw the bed. The bed was something we bought the day we got her. This, you already saw as well, was another toy we got the day we got her, just for her to have something in the back of the vehicle while we rode home. This has big, huge squeakers in the paws, which she really seems to like. And if you'll notice, so far we have noticed Kira is not a destructive chewer, even as a puppy. Now that may change as her teeth start to really she starts to get her adult teeth in and she starts teething more. She likes to chew on things. I can feel where she's been chewing on this, but she hasn't destroyed it. So that is a good thing. <laughs> Every one of our dogs has gotten one of these duck or geese toys ever since we've had dogs. Uh, our first husky, Shiloh, one of her very first toys, was a little duck toy like this. So when we saw this in the store, we absolutely had to get it for her. And yes, I know we have a box full of toys and you guys know we will rotate out our toys in our box and we give some to my brother and his two dogs, my mom and, his, and her dog. And then sometimes we take toys and we donate them to other dogs in need. So we do like to rotate toys. We had to get her some things. She's a puppy. This was super cute. I found this at my local Meyer. It is a Bark brand toy. I'm not sure what it is, but I had to get it because you know how much we love camping and yes, this little girl is going to be going camping with us hopefully soon <laughs> we haven't gone camping yet this year but this is a little s'mores toy and it has a crinkle in the middle and she likes that she really likes crinkle toys yeah you like that huh even more than the peanut butter and a squeak in the bottom because we didn't know the type of chewer she would be i did pick up one of these dura force toys these are like super 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 tough toys for them to chew on they do have squeakers on the inside but they're a lot harder for the dogs to destroy so we got her one of those in case she enjoyed that this is another toy much like the dragon toy but it was a little pink elephant and i had to get it. it has the bite shield protection so there's like no stuffing in it but the difference between this one and the dragon this dragon has just a squeaker in it this is a crinkly toy and as i said she really seemed to enjoy that so I got one of those. Another Kong toys. This is a Kong Dots toy. Again, this is a good toy for when they're teething. It just has like, it's kind of rubbery. It has little bumps on it and it's just gonna really help as she's chewing and getting, you know, massaging her gums as her teeth are coming in. So I got her a little one of these. This I found at our local pet supply store. Now you guys have seen these. Shelby loves these little like leathery toys. You've seen she has a rabbit and a squirrel and a whole bunch of them. She carries them all over the place. This one I liked because it actually had a rope on it, but it wasn't one of those fray type ropes with all the little pieces that they can just rip out. So we got her this and of course I have opened this and she does really enjoy it. We have been playing with it. She does like that toy, but so does Shelby. A jingle collar. Now I know it seems silly because it's not Christmas and it's not the holidays, but this is actually a really good idea to have on your puppy. Um, I also have baby gates, which I'm not showing, but we did, we did get a couple baby gates for her as well. We try to keep her in the same room as us, but this is really nice when you want to start giving them a little bit more freedom to kind of go about the house. This jingles so you know that they're moving, you know where they are, you can hear where they are. So I like these. And at night when she gets up, I hear these go off. Of course we had to get some treats and we had to do a shout out to Miss Oakley. I noticed a lot of you guys are mentioning that she's black and white like Oakley. She is black and white like Oakley. Sit, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. nope, sit. Good job, yes, good job. Um, these are just Fruitables crispy bacon and apple flavor treats. It was kind of funny, the breeder we got her from actually gave us, yes, good job actually gave us a bag of these as well. Good job. For those of you wondering, we are gonna be doing some training videos with her, kind of talking about how we're potty training and crate training, which has been interesting because she does not like her crate. We will, we will be doing some of those videos in the future. Zooks, mini naturals, Zooks treats. These ones are peanut butter and oat recipe. So these, if you can tell, are super little tiny training treats. And these are a godsend when you're training a puppy. When you're training, you wanna use little treats because they're going to be getting a lot of them. And these are definitely our go-to training treat. We don't need this bag open though. We already have a bag open. I also picked up another bottle of Wonderside. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about this stuff. I think we've talked about it quite a few times in the video. Again, I'll put some affiliate links to it down below. This is a all natural flea and tick spray. Uh, the nice thing about this is it doesn't contain any chemicals. You can use it on your pets. You can use it on yourself. We always like spray our shoes and our pants with it. It works better than off, believe it or not. And it's for fleas and ticks. You can spray their bedding with it. When we're camping, we tend to spray the camping mat with it just to kind of keep the bugs away. I don't, oh, here, is this what you want? 
So anyway, I got another bottle of this. This is the lemongrass scent. I don't have it here for the video, but I also got the yard treatment stuff. Some of you have been asking across our Instagram and Facebook page and in our Facebook group what we use for flea and tricks, ticks, tricks, haha, <laughs> flea and ticks to treat the yard. We use the wonder side. It's a little pricey, but I like the fact that it's all natural. Just bring the box over here. Here, you wanna play with the box? There you go. And we got you a box. And then we couldn't leave the other dogs out, so we got them a box of whimsies. Memphis loves these things. Shelby does too. So we got them a box of whimsies to enjoy as well. <laughs> what do you think? Is that your little puppy haul video? Your little puppy haul video? Look at his belly! Look at his puppy belly! <laughs> We did get her a couple of other things that I didn't show in this video. Like I said, the baby gates. She does have a kennel with a kennel cover. And she also has a kennel bed that we got her, which is, uh, it's like made out of like a thicker material so she can't chew through it. So we did get a couple of those things for her as well that I of course did not show in this video. So there you have it you guys. Let us know down in the comments below. What kind of videos do you want to see us make with Kira? Uh, training videos, things like that. Side note, if you're interested in training videos, we have some very good friends of ours. We just did a live show with them last night. McCann Professional Dog Training. I will put a link to them up in the cards and down in the video description below. If you are looking for help with training your dog, they are the professionals. I can do training videos, but they're from my perspective and what works for me. I am not a professional dog trainer. I just train my dogs. So if you're looking for a professional dog trainer and a really awesome channel to teach you a lot about training, I'm sure I will go to them a lot and ask them questions while we are <laughs> raising Miss Kira. McCann Professional Dog Trainers, go check them out. Uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, let us know down in the comments below some of the types of videos you would like to see us make with her. I plan on doing a video where we talk about where she came from and why we chose her and kind of doing her beginning story. Plan on doing that in the future. And yes, of course, we will be doing some treat videos. I have a couple of training treats that I want to make for her to show you guys. And as always, if you would like to see more of Kira, and Memphis and Shelby, you can always follow us on Instagram, Gone to the Snow Dogs on Instagram, Gone to the Snow Dogs on Facebook, Gone to the number two, the Snow Dog on Twitter. Follow us on all of our other social media sites. Oh, and TikTok. Yeah, the dogs are on TikTok now as well. And the videos that go up on TikTok don't really actually usually go up anywhere else, so check that out. Links for all of those down in the video description below. And check us out on, you're chewing on the cardboard. Get my, what's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? Oh, I got it. We got it. No, don't you on that. <laughs> um, and as always, if you would like to see even more of who we are and what we do, head on over to our second channel. It is youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs where we upload Monday through Friday. It's more of a lifestyle channel instead of a structured channel like this. So if you want to see more of that, check it out. And I think that's all I have to say. I think that's all the talking I can do. We got to let the other dogs inside from outside so you can play with them. So yes. This is puppy Kira. Her color is pink. Anybody that guessed pink, you were right. And if she would have been born closer to October, I probably would have picked orange because orange and black would have looked really cool too. But she's a springtime puppy. It was a springtime puppy. So you're gonna be our first little pink puppy. And pink looks really good on the black, I have to admit. She's gonna have a big old hot pink collar on or hot pink, hot pink harness. This is the best. You're like a cat. Woo, come here, get back in here. That was fun. You want back in here? Look at this. Is it? You're like a cat. Where's it? Where's it? She's extremely smart, you guys. Like, holy cow. So yeah, leave your questions and stuff down below. We'll do a Q&A on Kira in the future. That's it. I'm gonna let the other dogs in. All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big. We will see you again soon. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. And hey, if you're looking for some Gone to the Snow Dogs merch, there's links for that down below as well. Thanks for watching, you guys. Goodbye, audience. It's been a little crazy around here with a puppy. What were we thinking? Snow dog, sing a song with your sweet voice. I know you've been a good little girl. We're gone to the snow. Gone to the new adventure. Lots of fun, lots of walks. Won't you come and